One of the things that you need to watch out with Python environments is you can easily corrupt them. And the reason you need to know this is in case you come across the situation by chance. So here you can see I am going to be in this v2 environment. So win b mpl v2. I've just actually coded it that so you can code it whatever you want. So that doesn't really matter. But in here, the important thing to understand is if I run this code, you can see that it's successfully executed and we have a graph output as expected. But now let's see how you can corrupt this environment. So you can see I have currently executed this code. So this code is in memory now. So if I now try and uninstall the matplotlib library that I have here, use this magic command in BS code within a Jupyter notebook. So this command in it's simple, this is the magic uh, percentage sign that you need to use. Pip uninstall macroflip. This Y here is added into the reply yes that you do want to uninstall it. Normally in a shell or command line window you get asked what you want to do but in here we are forcing the yes to go through as a argument into the uninstall command. So if I run this, now notice this is where the corruption happens. I have run this cell and you can see it's got a graph and now what will happen is it will try and uninstall macroflip while it is still being used by my code. So my code is using it and we are trying to uninstall it. If I execute the cell and what you'll see is you'll see that it's successfully executed here. But if we expand the output here, so you can expand the outputs by clicking on this over here. So if I click onto that, you can see that it's saying it's uninstalling and then you get an error. So although initially when this was minimized, it appears that this was successful. But when you look at the output, you can see that we got an error and the error says access is denied to the following. And if we scroll across, you can see access is denied to leave matplotlib files. This is the reason the corruption happens because it's trying to get access but it can't so what it does is it tries to delete all the files it can and it does succeed in deleting them but there are others where you know you will get permission denied or access denied messages and so on so now if i try and run this code over here you can see this still works and you wonder what's going on this is because the code is still in memory but if i restart the kernel by clicking the restart button and if i click yes i want to restart all variables will be lost yeah that's fine so if i restart this and you can see it's restarting so down what happened this this hang this process hence so what you need to do is you need to restart me as code so i will close it down by clicking on the x in the corner and now you can see i restart started and I am still in this environment so if we try and run our code over here so if I try and run this this time you will get an error to say module not found and the error this time is much more in depth and very strange looking because it's saying that it cannot find some packages to do with matplotlib so you can see here the various errors and the error happened in various different lines over here within the matplotlib library so it managed to uninstall some stuff and you can see here that one of the main errors is module not found matplotlib backends registry so this error had caused corruption now and at this point you might go well I will just simply install matplotlib here again so you can see if I run this now what you will have to get is so it would say it's installing and then it says cannot install due to OS error access is denied. So a theme, there are multiple issues that play, but if I restart the kernel and even if I restart it and then try and install it, you will still get errors here and it's saying it's successful. But if I run the code down here, you will see that it will simply not work because it's saying the modules are still missing and it cannot find, for example, this module. So this is the reason why corruption happens. So this is something I wanted you to be aware of so you can solve this issue yourself.